58-45 win by Stetson here in the final regular season home game for Kennesaw State. Nathan McCurry and Autumn Johnson as we wrap this one up. Boy, you just thought that Kennesaw State had that spark early on. They, won, they were leading 16-10 to 10 there in that first quarter. And then a 25-point second quarter by Stetson got Kennesaw State behind. They were never able to recover. Yeah, and definitely that third quarter drought really yeah. got both teams, actually. I mean, with Kennesaw State with eight points, Stetson with 10. I mean, you saw a fast-paced game the entire first half, and then you kind of saw the energy and the intensity yeah. drop. That was a very crucial part for the team. But I think the thing that separated um, Stetson was that ability to, you know, score behind the three-point yeah. line with Addie Walters being huge for that team. Four to five, I mean, from the free throw uh, three-point line yeah. has been really huge for them. Yeah, so they had t 10, ten uh, balls beyond the arc, 11 and actually three-pointers made for Stetson. As we take a look at some highlights for this one, this leading scorer for Stetson was Megan, Vin Megan Vincent. That was later in the game, and she got some points there in the paint. It was Addie Walters, as you mentioned, four for five from beyond the arc. She just seemed to score at will at one point and then Megan Beach uh, McKenna Beach rather got involved she was three for six from beyond the arc none bigger than that at halftime setting the tone with an explanation point a more than half court shot I mean it was it was three quarter shot uh, three quarter length shot from a, one side of the court to the other that uh, ended the second half, the first half going into the second half. And then it just, you're right, Kennesaw State never found their tempo, only scoring 18 points in the second half total, eight in the third quarter, 10 in the fourth quarter. And, you know, it was, you got to give your tip your hat to Kamaya Street. She was your leading scorer for the Owls with 18 points. Uh, Alexis Poole led the score, led the rebounders with nine. She did foul out again for her 11th time in the season. But give credit to Stetson. They found a way defensively to really confuse Kennesaw State. Definitely. Um, Kennesaw State having three players, you know, produce those points was really big for them. If they can have another person to add some stats to, you know, the board, that would have been perfect for them. But, you know, everything was pretty close. If you look at these stats, they both had 16 points within the paint. Kennesaw State is really big in that area. And, you know, Stetson was able to just keep up with them right there. Consistency is the name of the game. The Owls could not find any consistency today, and they fall 58 to 45. Hey, don't forget to follow this women's basketball team as they move into the A-Sun tournament on KSUOwls.com.